interesting thing because Christianity doesn't start just 2,000 years ago. Christianity starts with the story of man and God and really the idea of God connecting with man and breathing life into man and then man's relationship back to God. And that's why throughout scripture, we see this continual story of mankind's connection to God and our relationship with him. And it is that. It's him and our relationship to him, not the other way around. And, and that's important because if it was a story about man and God, that's a different thing because we become the center role of the story and we're not the center role of the story. He is. And because he is, he, there's this promise that comes throughout the ancient scripture and through the, through the Jewish beliefs and the, the children of Israel of having a relationship with the one true God. And as doing so, he sets out a set of rules and regulations for them so that they can have peace with him. Now, they have choice. He gives us choice. And people, way back in the very beginning of Genesis, they make a choice to step away and turn away from their relationship with God. They sin against him. It means to miss the mark. They sinned against God. They stepped away from his, his focus, his provision, his plan for them, and they wanted to do their own thing. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? And so throughout scripture, we see that over and over and over again, where time and time again, the children of Israel, the set apart people of God, choose not to follow the will of God and not the ways of God and try to do their own thing. And it always ends in disaster. It always ends in disaster. And so they, they needed a way, they needed a way for them to be white, clean of their sin or made righteous, made holy before a holy God. See, God is holy. It means he's sinless. It means he does not make a mistake. And the thing is, we are broken people, and therefore we do. And so we, to communicate with a holy God, need a holy sacrifice. So he made a system of which we would make sacrifices and use that through animals. And we would make these sacrifices of animals over and over, and it would, it would cleanse your family and in the, in the sins that you had committed for that time. And then guess what? As soon as you leave that place and as soon as you leave the sacrificial area, guess what? You in trouble again, because you're probably going to go back to doing what you did before, which is making mistakes eventually and all those other things. And so there was always the need for a real one time for all sacrifice for all people. And this throughout scripture was, was, was foretold. This person was going to be the Messiah. So as Christ followers, we are not a replacement of Judaism. We are a continuation of Judaism as those who follow the messianic savior of the Jews. We follow the Christ. So that's who we are as we are grafted into the tree that goes way back into ancient roots. That's who we are. So when people talk about following an ancient religion, friends, if you're a Christ follower, you are following an ancient religion. <laughs> It's as ancient as ancient as ancient. It's not as old as the United States or as old as Europe. It goes way back to the beginning of time. 